A local school board has a patriotic plan and they want it to be part of their mission statement. And at the same time, the board will make clear that controversial social theories like critical race theory are not to be taught without board approval. Political editor John Delano has more on the policy under consideration. The president of the Mars Area School Board would not go on camera to discuss this, but the board has posted a proposed policy change on its website that adds these words to its mission statement. Quote, quality education should promote students to be informed, engaged, and patriotic citizens. The idea of patriotism goes back to the beginning of our country and certainly the love of our country and what we promote within our public school systems relative to that is uh, very appropriate, meaningful. Former South Fayette and Fox Chapel Superintendent Dr. Linda Hippert, now at Point Park University, says there's nothing surprising about the board's ways of promoting patriotism, displaying the flag, saying the pledge, playing the national anthem, promoting civility, and respecting each other's free speech rights. Most schools, if not all, do display the flag, uh, do the Pledge of Allegiance, play the national anthem, and, and that has been going on for many, many years and continues to this day. It's the next part of the policy that may be problematic for some. After encouraging students to vote, the board explicitly prohibits teaching concepts that impute guilt or blame on any race, gender, or religion, prohibits indoctrinating students in a single ideology, and prohibits teaching social theories like the New York Times 1619 Project and critical race theory that some say are anti-white racism. Hipford says local school boards do have the final say about curriculum, but as to the classroom? As you can imagine, John, it's impossible to monitor every finite detail of what occurs. The proposed policy does affirm the impartial study of controversial issues and the presentation of all sides of an issue. The Mars School Board was unanimous in its initial vote. A final vote is expected in mid-August. John Delano, KDKA News.